So for a while now, y'all have been asking me for a tattoo explanation. And I'm not gonna lie, I've been deliberately ignoring all of those requests. I'm a pretty sentimental dude for those that don't know. So most of my tattoos, if not all of them, have very personal meanings that I'm not always open to sharing. But since I'm dedicating this part of my YouTube for you guys to get to know me, I'm gonna do it right, I'm gonna open up, I'm gonna be vulnerable, and I'm gonna explain to you what my tattoos mean to me. So I guess we'll just start and go in chronological order from my first tattoo to the one that I just got last month. The first tattoo I got was the one on my ribs because go big or go home on your first tattoo, duh. So for my first tattoo, I was only 18 years old. I just really wanted a tattoo, but I refused to get a tattoo that didn't have any meaning to it because again, super sentimental. <laughs> but at this time in my life, my mom was going through a divorce with my dad. And for most people, that's like a really sad situation, like your parents are getting a divorce. For me, I looked at this like my mom was the strongest person in the world for getting a divorce with my dad. They didn't have an awesome marriage, yada yada yada, it was very toxic, it showed a bad example for me and my siblings for what a relationship should be. And I know how hard it was for my mom to take the steps to divorce my dad. And I just looked at that like, my mom's the strongest person in the whole wide world. I look up to my mom more than almost anyone on the planet. And that was the first example that I can remember of somebody doing something for their happiness and the effect it had on everyone else's happiness around that person. But yes, so. Wings of a Fighter for my first tattoo is a representation of my mom getting a divorce with my dad. My second tattoo that I got was the realistic tiger that's on my forearm. My whole life I've had this draw to white tigers, just tigers in general, I've always been extremely fascinated with them, but there's something on the soul level that really resonates with tigers. And for everyone that knows me, knows that when you see a tiger you think of me, tigers represents me, I am a tiger. That's just how that goes. That's my connection with tigers, and more specifically, white tigers. The third tattoo that I got were the ones on my forearms. Instead of us falling, we're flying in love. Now, these are lyrics from the Selena Gomez song, Stars Dance. For those of you that don't know, I'm in love with Selena Gomez, just absolutely in love. But beyond that, there was a meaning behind this song and there was a specific day that I remember where my mental health wasn't the best and I was being very self-destructive and I remember being in my car and I was about to do something really, really stupid and this song came on and those lyrics, instead of us falling, we're flying in love, just screamed to me and I stopped what I was in the middle of doing. It stopped me from doing something very stupid, from harming myself, and so this song and these lyrics specifically always stand out to me, and they just give my heart love, fills my heart up with love. So I have a very strong connection to this song, Stars Dance. That's why I got the tattoo, not just because I'm absolutely obsessed and in love with Selena Gomez. The fourth tattoo I got is the tattoo that's on my back the skeleton with the galaxy kind of spewing out of its mouth. I am in love with space and the galaxy, the looks of it, the mystery of it, just everything about it. I love the stars. I just love that there's so much to our galaxy. A secondary meaning is kind of like life after death and where I believe we go and yada, yada, yada. That'll be a separate video where I get into that if you even care, but just, yeah, I have a fascination with the galaxy and the colors of it, and that's also it for that one, really. There's not too much of a deep meaning behind that one. The fifth tattoo that I got is the tattoo that's on my calf, and for me, this represents peace and balance, and this time in my life, I was really starting to understand what it meant to be 
at peace with yourself, what it meant to be a balanced human. Honestly, that time of my life was the most peaceful I'd ever been in, and it was just, it represented a milestone that I had achieved. You know, like I reached this much happiness, peacefulness in my life, and I wanted something to show that. And so that's what that tattoo is for. Now my sixth tattoo, um, it's the one on my arm, my fight for happiness tattoo. This tattoo probably has the most meaning of any of my tattoos. I got this tattoo right after I had got my top surgery and right before I moved out to Seattle. And it just represents the accomplishment of my self-development and my happiness and a reminder of all the things that I had to get through in order to get to this space. And even beyond that, one of my friends who I call my Auntie Clippy or Tiffany, remember that name, she had paid for half of this tattoo before I left for Seattle. And so that alone also has a lot of meaning. But this boy just keeps reminding me to fight for my happiness when I get into low points, because it's inevitable. The next tattoo that I got, my sixth tattoo, is this little coffee mug stick and poke that I got. One of my coworkers, Peyton, the person who actually took all of these really sexy shots of my tattoos, um, gave this one to me. This was technically the first tattoo that I have, that I got in Seattle. And if you don't know what Seattle is known for more than probably anything else is coffee. I love coffee. So a little stick and poke from my coworker, friend from Seattle, blah, blah, blah. This stick and poke is representative of Seattle. The next tattoo, my eighth tattoo, is the one on my bicep of the girl and skeleton. This tattoo provokes an emotion out of me that I'm not even sure how I feel about it, to be honest. But this, this tattoo mostly represents the relationship that I was in for close to five years that was probably one of the hardest things to get through. Even more so than my transition, this relationship was the hardest thing to walk away from, the biggest lesson of my life, and just all sorts of things. The skeleton wrapped around this girl hugging her just reminds me of the codependent relationship that I had with this person. And it kind of shows, or represents like, how dead I was inside and how this relationship sucked the life out of me. And it's really hard to explain because it's just the emotion, this overwhelming emotion of who I was in this relationship and a person that I don't ever want to be again, relationship that I don't ever want to partake in again. It really does mean a lot. And honestly, this is my favorite tattoo. The way this tattoo looks, just the way this tattoo makes me feel is my favorite tattoo so far. And then we get to my other calf tattoo, the book of the recently deceased from Beetlejuice. Who knows that movie? If you don't, how? It's like one of those movies where it's just like, how have you not seen it? <laughs> so remember the name Auntie Clippy or Tiffany, the friend who had helped purchase the tattoo that's on my arm, my Fight for Happiness tattoo. Well, when I went to go put the deposit down for this tattoo, she had also put a deposit down for a tattoo for herself, which was a small tattoo of the cover of the book of the recently deceased, you know, with the boy and the girl looking out to the sun. She never ended up getting that tattoo. She had a lot of things come up and she never got it. And at the end of August 2017, she had passed away super heartbreaking. That is my first friend that I've lost. My friends aren't my friends. My friends are my family. So this was a huge, <laughs> huge life to be taken away from me. She played a big role in my life. This is my memorial tattoo for her. The design was created by my roommate friend Jasmine. We took, you know, the book of the recently deceased and made our own little drawing of it. I mean, I didn't, Jasmine did, but I took her design and got it tattooed, so it was like I got the tattoo that she was never able to get. And so that has like a huge, huge meaning to me. The next tattoo that I got, my 10th tattoo, is the other stick and poke that's on my other wrist of a little J, a little joint stick and poke. Let me just start off by saying that marijuana is legal in the state of Washington. So before y'all start doing that stupid bull poo poo, weed is legal here. It is another representation of just the city of Seattle, the place that I came to. You know, coffee and weed, the two stick and pokes that I got from my friend in Seattle. So there is no other meaning besides I love coffee and I love weed. And that's honestly it. And my 11th tattoo, the most recent tattoo that I got is my double headed crow. 
This tattoo has, you know, some complex meanings. First and foremost, the double-headed crow represents me being a Gemini. If you don't know anything about Geminis, the biggest thing I could tell you is that us having two personalities is a real friggin' thing. Geminis are like two people in one body. And like, on top of all that, um, my friend Clippy, who had passed away, also had a huge connection with crows. By her head, at her casket, was this like huge crow. And so that was another driving force for me getting this tattoo was just, it's another representation of my friend who had passed away. And on top of that, crows are honestly really friggin' cool. They, get, they know what's up. They know what's up. They're the messengers of the spiritual world in what I believe or whatever. So there's like a triple meaning to that tattoo. There you have it, my tattoo explanations. If you have anything else you would like me to talk about, let me know if you like this video like it so I know and if you don't I guess dislike it so I know but that's just kind of rude to be honest but like whatever folks you about. I love you guys the friggin most talk to you guys later bye I love weed sue me <laughs>